Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we have moving. Some of you could be physically moving, okay? And then some of you, I heard like making moves. When I put the card down, some of you need to make some moves and you need to get the, some things in order in place, some plans in place, okay? Some of you are gonna be coming into some money, okay? With the fortune card here, you're gonna be coming into some money you may become a homeowner also with the Lord card at the bottom of the deck. Um, if you are not already one, some of you may be selling some real estate also. The Shiloh Master is who you are right now, Aquarius. So it says that you are in control of your emotions. Also, don't try to subdue the, the weak-minded or the weak with your riches with what you have or try to sway people with maybe your knowledge um your esoteric knowledge and so forth um just be you also keep to yourself right now because a lot is going on behind the scenes for you um take your ego out of maybe dealing with people relationships Okay, because something is going to happen really big for you to where humility is going to be a factor. You're going to need to be humble because this thing is going to be big. It's going to um, be monumental for you, whatever this is. Um, and the, the cards want you to, yeah, drop the ego here. Okay. Um, and you're going to have so much abundance that you're going to need to ask an expert. You're going to have to ask. You know how where to put your money how to grow your money what to do how to sell this you know i don't know whatever it is you want to get accomplished but you're going to need expert advice and you're going to to you're gonna have it's it's like this i feel like some of you're gonna have so much money to where your ego is gonna be kind of out of whack out of check and you have to check yourself okay especially those who were enemy to what you were trying to establish in your life those who didn't care for you, those who, you know, didn't wish you well, those who may have even said things to you that, you know, just was hurtful, okay? I'm also getting that some of you are like getting out of your timeline. I don't know, like so, trying to get ahead of yourself. It says slow down. Yeah, I knew it. This just popped out, the Ace of Pentacles. A windfall, large sum of money, the, the new newfound wealth wealth you know the start of something that could be very long lasting so you can get some money aquarius again that will allow you to make some moves move but you're gonna have to get your ego in check here some of you could have manifested this with the white witch card here um you manifested a level of abundance clarify moving what is move what is moving what is moving for the Aquarius? The Queen of Pentacles. You got nothing but money all over this reading. So move it to something more luxurious, spacious. Um, so somewhere where you feel comfortable, um, you feel safe and secure, maybe for yourself and children if you have any. Yeah, but make sure you don't be too extravagant in your choices, Aquarius. Um, make sure you make the right choice here with the devil card at the bottom of the deck. Again, ego, ego, pride, um, get in control of that. I don't know, make, are y'all going to be like a millionaire or something? Because this money is making some of y'all like, you know, you're going to buy the block. I don't know. What is, I don't know what you're going to do. Um... Let's see, what is enemy here? Some of you also I was getting with the enemy in the, and then you have a malady or a malady or however you want to pronounce that. Some of you 
can deal with the fact that maybe you weren't chosen in terms of a love partner and now you, you you're trying to parade or I don't know some of you are not taking this well that maybe you weren't chosen you aren't chosen they don't want you or they want someone else or they chose someone else um what is enemy also yes yeah, like self-doubt is the enemy card opposing viewpoint something that's contrary or contradictory to what it is you say you want so it's like um maybe you feel like somebody or something is enemy to your plans also you could be enemy to yourself in terms of doubting yourself let's see what is enemy what is enemy for the aquarius yeah the knight of wands so you can feel like there's a specific person who you just don't want them because they're they're not here to stay to last they're still on conquest they're still looking for searching for yeah this could be like maybe a love relationship where it's only like friends with benefits or sex sex only and you don't want that and you just you just don't understand why you can't find somebody who wants to stay around with the four of swords you know let's see what we have going on for the Aquarius money looks great you know I'm assuming you might be dealing with somebody who's just not ready to be um committed they're committed to dating you having sex with you what do the cards have to tell aquarius closing energy for aquarius the nine of cups so yeah some wish fulfillment victory you're gonna be victorious in something and it's coming into you something that you hoped wished and prayed for it says make a wish could very well come true also with the nine of cups um again luxury is coming up in the nine of cups um infatuation sex uh good times fun times good food good drink what is the, what else can we tell the aquarius the eight of cups and maybe you just want to walk away from times like this you want something more of of substance or substance you want somebody with you know substance yeah six of cups yeah, this is a tough emotional uh choice or decision it's like you need to you feel like you got to finish something up and then move away some of it you feel like you need to maybe lose weight or get in control of your weight and then you can have more options the six of cups here um yeah you get, get back to simpler times um you also could be in love with someone that you grew up with with the six of cups um someone that maybe grew up in your hometown that you knew you just wish you could go back to this this way of being with this person yet yeah, wow five of cups geez aquarius there's either you or somebody just not able to cope with the fact that maybe you cut somebody off who only wanted sex only they're upset uh they feel like you know you took from them you took yourself from them they don't like that um this also could be you you know sad that maybe you weren't chosen in terms of a love affair love relationship you could want something back you want a person back the last card for the Aquarius. Last card for the Aquarius. The Moon card. So you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely with all this water here. Um, it looks like Pisces and Scorpio highlighted here. Um, somebody is really thinking about you. You haven't cut them off or yeah not talking to them anymore they're in deep thought about you this is somebody who wants to be in that dualistic nature where they want to be this and then they want to be that and then sometimes they want to be that and they want to be this and they just go back and forth and that could be in terms of the relationship and how they structure it with you maybe we're together today and then we're off next week i don't know 
this is somebody who's different from you. You know, maybe they see the world in a very emotional, watery state and you see it very black and white. It either is or it isn't. But this person operates in duality and they just go back and forth. This is somebody who maybe even lied to themselves about how they feel about you or vice versa. This is what you are doing against hidden enemies or something enemy to you. So anything that's just enemy, it just means it's, it's, it's opposing. It's different. It's not what you want. It is. Um, so maybe you feel like this person is enemy to you because it's not what you deserve. It's not what you want here. Uh, let's see. One last card for the Aquarius. Yeah. Wow. Emotions. And we got nothing but water cards coming out. So your emotions are all over the place. And you need to be the Shyland master. You need to get in control of your emotions. You need to blow like the air. You need to flow like the water. Um, let things come and go. Yeah, you need to have the courage to kind of let it go, to release here. Um, yeah, wow. And welcome the new, because there's newness here for you. Maybe some relationship came into your life to show you spiritual growth. If you still have living parents, check in on your parents, parental care. Now the children are the the caretakers. You could have adult children. Let them help you. Um, yeah, that's what I have for you. All right, so Aquarius, I hope it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, also go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.